Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello. I'm coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. This morning, I'd like to start out with a reading from John chapter 8, verses 47 through 59. Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. The Jews answered him, Are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I do not have a demon, but I honor my father and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it and he is the judge. Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died and so did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my father who glorifies me, he of whom you say he is our God, though you do not know him. But I know him. If I were to say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. Please join me now in a time together in prayer now on this Friday morning. Let us now pray together. Father, Heavenly Father, we thank you for looking beyond our faults and for loving us unconditionally today. Forgive us when we fail to love others in the same way. Give us eyes to see the needs of the difficult people in our lives and show us how to meet those needs in a way that pleases you. Help us not to lean on our own understanding, but in everything acknowledge you so that you can direct our words, thoughts, and actions today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.